In life, I'm always observing communication between people. So I love figuring out the simplest way to explain something. That's the way that I design things. I design things for people like me, that you just plug it together and they all figure out what they need to do. So I was doing this routing protocol and when Ethernet came out I said, oh, this is a new type of link and I have to modify the routing protocol. And I tried to argue and I said, you still need my layer to, to forward data. And they said, oh, Radia, nobody cares about your layer anymore. Something that's really complicated is never going to work. If more engineers did not like to put up with technology, they would design things that were a lot simpler to use. And, and not only simpler to use, but more robust. So this is something that I wish engineers would take to heart, that instead of expecting people to learn to use your thing, you should instead design your thing so that people will just naturally use it. My work is about making data flow, and data is no different than cars flowing on a highway, where you don't want them going around in circles, you don't want them bumping into each other. Sometimes the path that you planned doesn't work anymore because a road gets closed and you have to figure out how to, how to work around it. So these are all the same sorts of problems that happen in computer networks. When I wound up playing chamber music, where I was playing with other instruments, it was really astonishing because you were not doing the whole thing. This other music was happening around you and it just all fit together. I was lucky enough that my daughter wound up being a serious violinist and I was her pianist. When a bunch of musicians are playing together, it is just like a network where each component, each instrument is doing their own piece, the, their own portion of the greater, um, the greater goal and somehow it just all fits together.